Hey everyone, we're gonna take you backcountry skiing with us today. It'll be our second day backcountry skiing and today we're hoping to do a full day. So we wanna show you everything. If you don't know, backcountry skiing is basically a hybrid between downhill skiing and cross-country skiing. We wear our downhill skis, but they have special bindings and special boots. And then we attach these sticky skins to them so we can walk up the hill rip them off at the top and then ski down. So we can't wait to show you all the different gear that we use. First up, I just made us lunch. Sandwiches, apple, we'll bring a few more nuts and we're gonna pack up our gear now. This is the first layer of what I wear when ski touring. So a merino wool base layer top, bottom. I also like to wear a ball cap so that it keeps the sun and snow out of my face. One of the most common questions we get about backcountry skiing is what about avalanches? Because you're out, you're not in any ski resort, there's no avalanche control, so you're responsible for your own safety, and there is an avalanche risk. We always try to go where the risk is low, but there is an inherent risk. So this is our way that we track each other. So these are our avalanche transceivers. They go right on your body like this. So they look like this. There's tons of different brands, but we turn it on. There we go. And right now this would be in find mode. So if Brian turned his to search mode, he could find this. And if I need to search for him, I would pull this. And then it beeps and tells me where he is. And so I can find him. Next, I add a layer of Gore-Tex pants. And we need to add our new wool buffs that we got. Can I get this over my hat, do you think? Oh yeah. <laughs> Great, looking good. Goggles. I need my water. We'll show you more gear later because it's starting to get hot in the van now that we have all our layers on. So I'm wearing my wool, my bib pants, and then just this really thin jacket. It's just for wind, just a bit of a shell, water resistant, so I don't get too hot because the up part of ski touring is a lot of work. It's just like cross country skiing basically. So you don't wanna to wear too many layers and get hot and sweaty because if you get sweaty, you're more likely to get cold later. Here's my little boots. They look like downhill ski boots, so they're pretty firm. What is unique about backcountry ski boots is you can switch them from ski touring mode, so walk mode, to downhill ski mode, ski mode. All right. You ready to go? Well, next step, we're going to put the skins on our skis. Great. These are the skins we use. This is how we are able to climb uphill with our skis. Yeah. They're really sticky. <laughs> nice. So what we're trying to do is to have the skin flat to the ski with no ripples. And by having what happens with the ripples? Two things happen. It slows you down on the glide, but it also accumulates snow underneath, which isn't good. Yeah, it makes the skin less sticky. Yeah. Okay. Ah! No! <laughs> They're so sticky. Okay. 
Okay. There we go. we're headed up here way up to that mountain poking through the trees there when do you want to check our transceivers i think this is a great time right here right here yep. okay sounds good we're going to check to make sure each other's transceivers are working and that we can actually detect them Got you. All right. Okay, they're working. We can find each other. We are good to enter Avalanche Train. <laughs> Okay, we're at 486 vertical meters. I would say we're probably not quite halfway. I was really good. Champagne wish they had bubbles like that. We've been skiing for three hours and it's been a really lovely day. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. Yeah. Body's good. We definitely chose a bit of an easier route and we think it's a great introduction for the beginning of the season. Yeah. My body's feeling pretty good. I'm a little bit sore because we've been doing so much exercise lately. Um, but otherwise, I feel good. And the train's awesome. It's beautiful. It's a little bit more gentle, which is nice. And yeah, nothing really big to report, which is always a good thing. That's a great thing. Yeah. Okay. I think we're looking at the summit here. What do you think? I think that might be where we're going, right up there. Yeah, I think so. The fluffy trees, they're so cute. Yeah, we, we definitely climbed a layer and all of a sudden the trees have a little bit of extra snow on them. And yeah. it's, it's beautiful. They've also changed. It's mostly coniferous here. Oh, yeah. Totally different. Good observation. Totally different forest type. Yeah. I found a sign. This is depicting our route. We are here. Buzetti C, that means we're here. We started here and we went all the way up here. 2.2K, that's it. <laughs> I feel like we've been going for hours. Well, we have like almost four hours, three hours. So one more hour of climbing and then we'll turn around. Great. We're now in the steeper section and it looks like it's going to be 
você. That's our final climb there. So that was 150 vertical meters yep. from the sign to here. No. Wait. <laughs> That's the club of the Jacques. Jacques. Catch. 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 How are those jumps? Probably about that much air. <laughs> <laughs> we just did about three quarters of the downhill and it was awesome. And my legs are really tired, so I'm glad we only did one today. How's that for you? That was awesome. Super tight little trees and found lots of nice little powder sections. So that's exactly what I was looking for. How's your body feeling? Body's good. Everything's feeling really good. So this is our kind of like day 1.5 and I think that was a great <laughs> intro to the season. Yeah, I agree. Let's get back to the car and uh, get some dinner going. A little bit more skiing to go and it's getting dark so we gotta go. What a day. Oh, that was so good. I feel so tired in like the best way possible. <sighs> With a stunning sunset at the end, couldn't be better.
Okay, we just got back from the ski. We have set a bunch of stuff out to dry, and I remembered I promised you I would show you the rest of our gear. So for safety, we have avalanche safety gear. So you already saw our beacons earlier. These are probes. So the probes are like a really, really long tent pole and you stick it down into the snow. So when I pull this out of here, it assembles into one long probe. So that's our probes. And then the other thing is our avalanche shovel. It breaks into two parts. So this is the handle, this is the blade. And you always have to have an avalanche shovel with you so you can dig someone out if you need to. Clicks together. And then you can extend the handle like that. So you have a longer shovel to dig with. Of course, you always need to have a first aid kit. We carry one with us every time we're out in the back country. <laughs> we always carry this in case we get stuck out longer than we expected. And that could happen for so many reasons. Like it doesn't need to be an injury or getting lost. Literally one of our boots could break and then it just takes us three times longer to come back because of that. So always want to have each person wants to have a headlamp with them some snacks water of course and then I always carry extra layers with me so I just pulled my vest out of there I had my green puffy jacket and another shell so that if I had to layer up because I was hurt or just stop wait for someone I have those layers to add on that's us in my day pack we're gonna have an excellent après ski today I think that's good. Oh! <laughs> Are you filming? Yeah, you are. <laughs> okay, cheers to a great day skiing. Cheers. cheers. So today was so awesome. We parked at the parking lot, skied right from here, skied up to a saddle, back down. So we skied up for four hours, down took us two, just less than two hours. Well, we had like a 45 minute break halfway <laughs> and it was a really good first full day. I don't think I could have done more than that. Yeah. And yeah, we were watching out for any signs of snow instability or anything like that. And we didn't see a thing. So we were super confident with the safety of the conditions too. But yeah, it was so nice for us to get out because we love backcountry skiing. It's actually how we met. So it was just so great. And cannot wait to do more of it. We're going to be here in Gaspé Z for another two days. So we're going to explore a different area, I think, tomorrow. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching our video and we'll see you next Wednesday. Bye. See ya.